Let's say that you're browsing the asset store and you happen upon a really beautiful looking scene that you want to explore more of from the player's perspective. Most art assets do not include a character controller because, well, it's an art asset, so it's not going to include the character controller scripts. That's the case here for this asset that I'm using in this video. This asset is called Fantasy Worlds Forest, and it provides a really interesting looking environment that I want to explore more of. As you can see, I'm currently in play mode, and there's just a static camera, so that makes exploration hard. I can drag this camera around in the editor, but that will only get me so far. It would, be able to, it would be nice to be able to just drag and drop a prefab and then start exploring. With the Ultimate Character Controller, I can do that. Now if you're familiar with the Ultimate Character Controller, then you've used the various uh, managers under the Tools menu. And for example, I can set up the scene, I can create a new character, or I can add some items to that character. While this is quick, it's not instant or it's not as quick as dragging in a prefab. In this case, I just want to start exploring the environment and kind of see what it's all about. I don't want to apply any specific character customization. Now I can do that by dragging in the character container prefab that is located within the ultimate character controller samples directory. And then I'm going to disable the camera that is included within the environment because this character container already contains a camera. And then I'm going to reposition the character model to be on level ground instead of being in the middle of the void. So I have already copied and now I just pasted some values that I know look good. And now when I hit play, I can just start to explore the world. So I'm in a first person perspective right here and then I can switch to third just like I'd expect to be able to within the ultimate character controller. This is the same character prefab that is used within the demo scene, so it's fully set up and ready to go. There are also a couple of weapons that I can choose and I can fire and kind of do everything that you would expect. And just like that, with just dragging and dropping a prefab, I can instantly go from a static camera to fully exploring the environment from the player's perspective.